What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay Scott Top. Hello. And we are the, the Midnight, Midnight Movie, Movie Watchers. Watchers. And for today's video, we have prepared for you guys. What we got? We put together our little top 10, maybe six. Because it, 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 it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. For this year. It's going to be our top five movies that we want to see in 2019. 2019. 2019 going to be a good year. It's going to be a it's good gonna year. It's going to be a good year. For the movies and for, the movies, for us. For us. And for the Y'all. So make sure you stay Cause tuned because yeah. we got a lot of things coming you guys' way. But without further ado, let's dive straight into it. So, Elbow, 2019. Mm -hmm. yes, this is going to be a great year for films. Yes. What's your first film on your countdown? My first film on my countdown for 2019, I'm a hard person. So, I'm going to have to go with the classic Stephen King, Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. Yeah, all right. All right. Every, all the Pet Cemeteries was great. Yeah, yeah. All of them. You can't, I mean, Stephen King. You can't go wrong with Stephen King. Don't love our Pet Cemetery. And they're bringing it back. I, yeah. I think that I think they should bring back all like they doing all Ed and yeah, oh, how they brought back Ed and Pet Cemetery. You know, I wouldn't doubt if it's coming. I wouldn't doubt if it's coming. There's a lot of other I mean, stuff coming got back. A lot of old, stuff coming back. Right, right. Old stuff coming back is classic. So. Right. And you know, like, and it's crazy because that brings me to mind, and Where I'm gonna start to count off. I'm gonna start my countdown with Godzilla. Godzilla. That's an old thing bringing back. Right. Because you know, they, they did a real good job on King Kong. They did. So I, I know they're going to have right. Godzilla. Right. And like, it's going to be, okay, so if you guys haven't been paying attention or if y'all been living under a rock, you know, they got this whole universal, got this whole like monster filmology thing they're trying to put together, this Filmology. whole world of monsters. And so it's, right. it kicked off with Godzilla. We okay. saw that. Yeah. It kicked off with King Kong. So yeah. this upcoming Godzilla is going to be the third film in the series, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the trailers look amazing. You yeah. guys are going to see it in the in the back. You know, y'all see it in the back. But <laughs> but the trailer look amazing. Godzilla's going to be fighting monsters. I hope he's kicking ass. He, he said King of the monsters. King of the monsters, King right? The monsters. So like, hopefully he kicking ass yeah. and doing Godzilla esque yeah. shit. Yeah, like, so I hope you know they do a Godzilla justice. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, because um, the first one, it was good, but I feel like we didn't see him a lot. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, we... It was just like, like the people were, at, man, at underground tunnels and all this shit. Right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it was good. Like, it was good. I ain't complaining. I was a huge fan of the first one. <laughs> I just wanted to see more Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's always. You want to see more of the character. Right, right, Villain, right. hero, whoever. I just want to see more. More, right. I'm a villain guy, so I want to see more. I love villains. Vegeta. <laughs> shout out Vegeta. <laughs> Yes. All right, so uh, Elbow, what's your so number? My three? next one I'm really excited to see is Hellboy. I really enjoy man, all the Hellboys. Yeah. Hellboy movies, the Hellboy cartoons. I really enjoy Hellboy. Right, right. And I think the direction they're going and all the technology and all the graphics we got now, then they're yeah, killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. and, uh, ready to wait to get his crown. Okay. And fun <laughs> fact, the, the guy playing Hellboy is the is the the also plays in The Stranger Things. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, he's the cop. So it's gonna be just a little fun fact for fun you guys. Fun fact, but Hellboy is what I, I can't wait to see. I think it's gonna be great. Well, I, oh, I hope man. it's gonna be great. So I still remember the Golden Army. Like the now, Golden I, I Army that was. Golden it came Army. out when I was. I'll never forget senior year in high school. Came out. I was doing some things in that theater that day, but I still saw the movie. Hey, Golden Army. <laughs> I love the Golden Army. I love the concept. Yeah, everything. Yeah. So I hope they keep that going or whatever. Right, right, yeah. Hellboy is an awesome, mm. awesome choice. So what you got? What's, what's your number two? All right, so my next one, uh, let me see. I think I'm going to go going? with Avengers. Avengers uh, Endgame. Yeah. Definitely want to see Avengers. And all Avengers are good. So all of Avengers. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then Endgame. how that last one ended off with the... Amazing man. Man. <laughs> he did it. So, <laughs> they were all in there. So, yeah. you know, so... Looking at the trailer, look the trailer made it look good. Uh, yeah. You know, with the walls going up to Captain America, you know. So I thought yeah. that like looked really decent. I'm really anxious to see really, how the hell they're gonna fix this. I, I really, yeah, I really want to see if they're gonna bring everybody back. Or, right, they're right. gonna have to bring everybody. They gonna have uh, at least some people. I don't know because Thanos fucked some shit up, guys. Like. Took Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda. Spoiler alert. <laughs> But yeah, you guys saw like Thanos fucked up everything, everything. so it's gonna be interesting to see how our heroes fix this, cause this is gonna be tough. I so Tony that's Stark, what Tony Stark gonna brink like me, fuck all this shit. Right, right, right. Like, he was in that, he was in that <laughs> mindset in Age of Ultron. He was like, 
fuck this just shit. Just done, like, right? Like, nigga, monsters we can't defeat. Like, I have to do something. Right, right. So, so it's going to be super exciting. So, yeah, that's definitely one on my list that I really want to see. Yeah, so. You up next. What my next it? one it is a classic. And I'm happy to see that Will Smith's playing it. And I want to see how they do his, his character. And if oh, you know what Will Smith boy, coming in, and it's Aladdin. Aladdin? Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know Will Smith was going to be in Aladdin. He's a genie. What? He's wow. a genie. Hey, you he know what? He's a genie. That's going to be dope. And I wonder, I wonder how they, if they're going to have a genie like the cartoon, like when Robin Williams, R.I.P. Robin Williams. R.I.P. Robin Williams. Yeah. But I wonder if they're gonna have him like that, or because they showed him sneak people. He had like he was just like a human form, like Will Smith, right, right, making, right. like a genie. But I wonder if he's gonna turn blue and, into the right and stuff. So that that's really cool. I did not know that, like at yeah. all. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty dope. I like can't wait to, to see Will Smith as the genie. That's yeah. gonna be some pretty cool. Yeah, shit. yeah I can't wait to let him so, come out. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it within a Disney verse, and my next pick is gonna be Lion King. Disney killing the game. God, Disney is killing it with these live action films they got coming out, guys. Like, I, I really hope it. though. Like, I know it's going to be nearly impossible because the animated films set such high standards. Yeah. But I just hope the live action films mm -hmm. set that same tone and capture that same magical yeah. essence. We, we gonna find the, out when Dumbo come out. Yeah, so, you're right. Like, Dumbo, Dumbo is coming soon. Then Lion King, come on, you mess like, up. Be on the lookout for the review. Yeah, if you mess up Lion King though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you got to get Lion King, right? I think they will, though. I think they can pull it off because, I mean, when you think about it, they pulled off the Jungle Book, both yeah. of them. Both of them. Both of them. Mowgli. Yeah, uh, but they pulled, off, they pulled off the Jungle Book. Yeah. They did that re extremely well. That was very good. It was really like good. That. So I really hope that they nail this right. live action. Like, they are still saying, be king. Man, I'm telling <laughs> Hey, I was just watching Lion King the other night. Like, man, I'm talking about it. <laughs> Beware. <laughs> I'm still singing to this day. Yeah. Uh, Matata. Yeah, you were right. hey, Those day. songs became part of life. Like, when I'm having a bad day, I'll be like, fuck it. Akuna Matata. Yeah, yeah, Kuna Gotta Matata, go. Man. You can't but mess yeah, it up. For sure. Like, Lion King, that's definitely on my, mm -hmm. my countdown. Yeah. So, but my last one, I think, is going to... I'm like... Love X Men, so you got to go to the Dark okay. Phoenix. Dark Phoenix, so okay, okay. I, I, okay. First, I want to see how this is gonna go. People, I heard bad things about it. I mean, it, it's been uh, I uh, think well, some, the of the some of the yeah, shooting days, yeah, some of the whatever. production hasn't been too great. On but, it, but you know, X Men, none of them let me down. No X Men, I, I think you that right, was you bad. Right. I never had no bad reviews or felt bad about none of the X Men. So this is what I feel like gonna live up to the standards too. Right, right, right. And, I mean, it's the Phoenix. I mean, yeah. the Phoenix is always a badass character. Like, Gene has always fucked some shit up. Yeah. So, it's going to be cool. I agree with you. It's going to be really dope. Uh, so, what, do you think they're going to bring in Logan? No, nah, I don't think they're going to bring in Logan. Gonna bring I, wanna, in I, I think they're going to start off with that little girl or whatever. The one with that Logan daughter or whatever. Oh, and okay. Logan, really? Really? Logan. really? Okay. Then they'll bring cool. that. Because, okay. you know, they bring in a new age, a new generation. Right, right, right. Well, That's going to be cool. Us. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, yeah, like you said, man, the Phoenix was always one of the top characters on X-Men, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, that whole, uh, fucking I mean, yeah, like eggs. she's the best, yeah. yeah. So it's going to be cool to see them bring that alive. I agree, I agree. We're going to go down. What All right, what so got? let what me see. Got? So you, what's your last one? Next, I uh, think I'm going to go with It. It, it Chapter 2. I it hey. Chapter 2, guys. It. So, like, I'm a huge fan of horror. I'm a yeah. huge fan of Stephen King. Stephen King. Wife How I see it, yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, his stories is killing me. He's and killing it, too, me. is going to be super fun. I was a yeah. huge fan of the first one. Uh, first the second is, one yeah. that's coming out, it's, you know, the first one was, like, from the, the kids' perspective. So oh, oh, yeah, the first, I thought you were about the original first one. Well, man, even even the original, right? Yeah, I, well, the, the original was good. Yeah, it was I believe kid, it's the kids the first adults. and then the adults. So it's, they're yeah. keeping that same trend from the original it, yeah. with you know the first one being focused on the kids, and then this new it. I guess the, those adult, kids adult are going to be the adults now. So I'm really anxious to see how, what direction they take it, and I'm really looking forward to the return of it because I yeah. felt like that guy did an awesome job of playing. They did. Like, he he, he did. was vicious. He like, did. I think he was just scarier than the one. I think all the makeup and how they right, changed right, the, his facial structure. Man, and I always um, say, I think I said it on here before. That uh -huh. scene with the projector was one of the dopest mm -hmm. scenes I've seen in a while. Yeah, that, that was that was like, a live scene. It was really cool. It was 
Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. That projector scene was one of the, At first, I was like, damn, I thought they were going to keep the picture book. But right, you know, right, they switched right. that out for the book when it was all at the train. Yeah. And that yeah. One. So I, but I, I like it. So. Yeah, yeah. It was cool. It was cool. Even though they switched out some classic things, the battery acid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they, I, but from what, to my from my understanding, like this one followed more closely with the book. Mm-hmm. So you know, so I thought that was pretty. Okay, cool. yeah, that's yeah. good. So yeah. let's see, so. what's next? I, like I said, I'm horror. So my next one is gonna be another classic. They rebooting. Oh, it's Child's Play. Child's Play, Child's Play, okay, okay, yeah. Chucky. All right, of course. I'm a Chucky fan. Chucky. <laughs> I, I got all the Chuckies, even the one that that sucks. Yeah, yeah. We'll that, see the Chucky. You, yeah, that's see you. the Chucky. But I really enjoyed the coat of Chucky. But you know, I was just gonna ask, right. as a real fan, did any of the Chuckies really suck though? You know what it, I mean? It, like, it really, I think it was just how the acting, the went, acting, yeah, or yeah. whatever. I can see that. I can mm-hmm. see that. Yeah, because I know in the coat of Chucky. The acting it wasn't too good, but the concept and the storyline, I really like that shit beastie. Right. right and I want right. to see how they're going to do this child's play. All right. Yeah, that's, that's cool. My last that's cool. One. Definitely child's seeing play. Chucky, like, I hope they do him right. You know, yeah. I, I'm happy that he's making his return to the big screen, and I hope that they do it right. I hope mm-hmm. that, because Chucky at this point, he's pretty, he's a classic he's horror a, he's a guy classic, at this yeah. point. Like, he's up there with the Jasons and everything else Cougar. at this point. Right, right. Even though they let down Leprechaun and that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they didn't do Leprechaun too well. We, we was pretty fucking disappointed with yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> so what you got though? All right, so my number one movie that I really cannot wait for, can't wait to see this year, is none other than The Joker. Oh, yeah. Cannot wait to see The Joker. Robert De Niro right now. Man, yeah, let me that. tell you, this movie has me super pumped. The the footage that they about released, the Joker is, right? The Joker. I mean, we're talking about you, you if not the most the iconic villain at this point. It is. I mean, nobody out villains the Joker at this point. I don't think nobody is. No, I mean, and if you just think of first person, like give me a villain right now, but Joker. Joker, right? Joker, I tell person. y'all what. Let's get you guys involved in the comment section below. Let us know what is a up? villain that's equal or better nobody. than the Joker. Nobody. I, I, I just don't. Nobody, I just can't see it. I like mean, we're talking iconic figure at this point. We can do the top five villains. Like it be Joker, then I think Killmonger right on though. Killmonger, <laughs> Killmonger is a really good villain. <laughs> hey, but you know what? That's that could but be Joker's a countdown we got coming. Yeah, Joker's but still a Joker's Joker is definitely and like yeah. the the scenes that we've seen from the trailers with the whole train scene, like mm-hmm. when everybody's chaotic and fighting and him yeah. just going and skipping and like it looks like he's nailing. That feel of the Joker, all out chaos, while he's just, just the cause of it. Just yeah, just love having it. fun. And uh, this is gonna be the first film that we actually really get to see his backstory, like when they really okay. dive into his backstory. We okay. kind of saw it in the original Batman movie, yeah. Uh, but you know, you not like this, right? The Joker. Yeah, and I really hope that they follow the the, the uh, comic book. You know, with the whole him being a failed comedian and things like that. I think that be, did you ever hear about that comic? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a comic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's shit. pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It's one okay. of the most iconic Batman comics, but I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, I think we got, we got one more, huh? No, that was it. That was yeah. it. I mean, you have a toss up? You have a toss up? I forgot, I, I forgot John Wick. John Wick. Oh, okay. Well, there so, you go. We have a toss up option there. All right. Well, hey. John Wick or whatever. Well, all right, let's change this to our top six movies coming out. <laughs> John Wick, you can't go wrong with Now, Keanu, don't mess Keanu with Reeves. John Wick's dog. Keanu Reeves killed Keanu it. Keanu Reeves killed it. I, man, I love, love John, John Wick. Wick. John Wick is good. My Can't nickname for him is Headshot. <laughs> he only take headshots, oh, yeah, ladies he and gentlemen. <laughs> he make it look so good, man. She's like so smooth, smooth. Like man, smooth Keanu Reeves is a badass. I was so happy to see him like uh-huh. return to where I felt he should have been. Cause I me mean, personally, I don't feel Keanu Reeves really get the respect as like one yeah, of the people, yeah, people top. Yeah, people. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like Keanu yeah, Reeves yeah, is a badass. Yeah, Matrix badass. made it. I think the Matrix like diluted his. Cause you know it's amazing. His character, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, his character, like, oh, we don't see him playing like a, a gangster villain. Right, like, right. Hitman. And he did it. Yeah, he did <laughs> oh, it. Oh, he did it. In style. <laughs> yeah, and like, and just uh, fun fact, too, he's a hell of a person as well. Yeah. Like, he's a hell of a person. He's a really good, person. good, genuine person. So, I'm, I agree with you. I'm really looking forward to I mean, seeing uh, John Wick. I, I love the John Wick series. 
Uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Because, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like a badass, like, just taking out everybody? Like, yeah. who's going to mess with John Wick? Not me. All right. And, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw in mine. My, yeah. my, my toss-up movie or my number six, uh, however we want to do I this at this is. point, I'm going to go back to the horror. I'm going to go with us. Oh, that boy killed. Please. Really want to see took over 2017, <laughs> 18. Jordan it. Peele. He, like Elmo said, he, he took over he with Get Out. That was a Get hell out. of a debut film for him. He took over. Get Out was amazing. The the buzz for Get Out was already at an all time high yes. from when he dropped the trailer for it, and so and when the movie just came out, it, it served as just the icing on the yeah. top of the cake. It, like, it, it, it lived really up to did. what we was hyping. Right. And I'm like, okay, most people like most movies like you watch it like, okay, I'm ready for it. And right, like, right, right. It wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. But this, that one was great. I it think, was I, I agree with you. I think Us, they come out in March. Yeah, yeah. So us is coming soon. I think it's going to be real good. That's one. We're, we're, gonna go, we're definitely going to be doing a review for that one. I'm definitely going to be in the theater at midnight eating my popcorn. Midnight movie watchers. Move, midnight movie watchers. <laughs> and we definitely going to go see Us. Yeah, I'm going to see And, I mean, man, sure. just from the trailer, the trailer looked amazing. Uh, I love Jordan Peele's work. His stories of sync are very original. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and, and it goes like a play with the the times, like with issues we dealing issues with. Issues we dealing with, even but tones. Gets, yeah, like you know, it's, it's his his forte thus far is hard, but the tones of his movies have real, you know, they have comedic yeah. relief in there. Mm -hmm. Like it, it has really good tones, and uh, us looks like it's going to pick up right where. Uh, get out left off. Yeah, and he got like a whole bunch of Easter eggs because then Get Out had a whole bunch of Easter eggs. A whole Especially ton the of song that was playing at the beginning right. was a, you right. a meaning. Then everything uh, had the, a the cereal, like every little the, small the deer detail. On the head deer, and, yeah, yeah, every yeah. small detail had a, a, a significance yeah. to it. And I really hope that that continues in us. Like, John Pills a is. badass. And I think, I think when us come out, he's going to do the two peak. And he's going to be our, I think he's going to be the black people Stephen King at this point. <laughs> I, I think so. I, I, he said it first. He I said it, ladies and, and gentlemen. I, I back it. I second that. Yeah, so Joy uh, Peel, you keep doing your thing. We definitely going to go see us and we cannot yeah. wait. We're going to go see all of these movies that we all just named on our countdown. We hope you guys go see them too. So, as always, I'm Jay Scott Top. I'm Evo. We are the Midnight, Midnight Movie, Movie Watchers. Watchers. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, subscribe to this video. Keep our channel going. Uh, you know, we feel like we're doing great things. We uh, YouTube hit us up recently, so we're pretty proud about that. We couldn't have did it without you guys. So, <laughs> <laughs> so without without shadow of a doubt, you guys yeah. are going to be the reason we grow. And we really thank y'all for that. We can't mm, thank y'all yeah, enough. Thank y'all. So, we hope you guys like this video. We hope you guys go see these movies. Yeah. And Midnight Movie Watchers. We out. We out. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye.